Hi guys, what's up? I'm sorry for the weird lighting. I am in my room and it's kind of dark and just, I guess the sun just went away out of nowhere. Um, but today I wanted to do a little special vlog because um, I am going to tell you a little something about myself. Every time I go to Levi's or Scores, I always ask my drink, which is gin and tonic, and I always go for far because for four gin and tonics because like two dollar drinks, one dollar drink sometimes. And I go like, hi, can I have four gin and tonics without a straw? And everyone kind of looks at me like, oh, you're so cute, you're saving the turtles. And the uh, bartender is just like, you know, like he's like, yeah, whatever. Or they know me and you're like, yeah, no straw. And if sometimes they mess it up and they give me a straw, people look at me and they're like, oh. and I'm just like, they're like, oh, you're taking this, you're like drinking with a straw. And I'm like, they messed up. Um, and they love teasing me about it because they think it's funny because everyone's like doing this like no straw type of thing or not everyone but Starbucks and you hear more and more and more about it but I really want to talk about a life zero waste or yeah a life zero waste and I'm not saying that I have this by any means I try to have a life zero waste but it's kind of hard for me at this point and I definitely do consume a lot but it's definitely a life of more consciousness, consciousness and trying to be more gentle with the environment and I'm not only doing it because of this turtles because I do love turtles a lot as you can tell they're my favorite animal actually hi I'm pissed because of the plastic thank you turtle um, but also because I am my happiest when I'm in nature and so it breaks my heart knowing that us humans have us humans destroy or try to attack the beautiful environment that we lived in and we take it for granted and we don't care or appreciate this planet that we have and so what is the life zero waste is basically not consuming as much plastic and, and reducing your waste as possible uh, I still go to the supermarket and, and grab a plastic bag to put my tomatoes in or even the containers of like lettuce and everything they they come in plastic so you know that's something that I, I don't know how exactly to change because I don't live in a place that I could easily go to the market basket like nuggets and just grab my own bag but instead of going to a supermarket and expect them to give me plastic bag I have my own recyclable bag type of thing um, so things like that I'm not zero waste but I you know when I go to the bars I still drink from a plastic cup because they don't have glass cups here and like at Libby's and scores but I try to not drink it with a um, straw <laughs> or if I go to the spot I try to bring my own container or if I know I'm gonna go to somewhere that I maybe I'm not gonna eat all of my food at Mayway and I can bring my own container and ask them if they can put my miso soup in my this container that I have things like that and so the reason I'm so passionate about this and why I want to make a little video that I think it's all over the place right now it's because we have a problem with consumption in this world it's not only this country but definitely the, U the US is the biggest country that creates more consumption um, and there's a big problem with that because we are killing our country especially our seas and oceans and marine life and it's heartbroken. Uh, in, 2000, in 2015, there was 6.5 billion plastic waste around the world. Um, from that 6.5 billion, only 9% was recycled. 12% was burned, which is not good for the gas, but whatever. And 79% was discarded on just put on landfills and oceans and the environment. 79%, and that was 2015. So we have definitely grown that number, which is terrifying. Um, there's 8 million tons of plastic trash that enter the sea every single year. 8 million every year enter the sea that is 8 million every year that is mind-blowing to me and it's heartbreaking um, 
it is goes everywhere in the sea and is ingested by the marine world as we can see that there's a lot of sea turtles that are eating straws or putting them in like they don't put them but they go into their nostrils and they are you know they die but there's also whales that can eat or, or um, sea seagulls that eat a plastic bag and then they have it here and they cannot eat anything else they cannot digest and so they die for starvation because they eat a plastic bag that maybe looks like a jellyfish um, it's the same thing for birds they might eat something from the ocean that looked like a fish and it's just they had open fit uh, birds and there's literally like lighters and, and the thing is that it shouldn't be inside a bird it's like crazy to think that they they died because that they died because of that um, not only that but also sinking to the bottom of the sea so there is basically so many different marine lives that are eating and their environment is being destroyed by our consumption and I do want to say that there's a big problem with the system of how things are sold to us it's so easy and it's for our convenience one-time use that we don't usually think about what's gonna happen to this thing that I'm using this one time this plastic cup like we don't care about where is it gonna go we think it's just disappear into thin air and I definitely think it's because of how the system is you know how the system works Companies obviously don't want to create something that is more expensive But it maybe it means that it's gonna be recyclable because they want to sell more and People usually just care about money and that's the sad truth um, And so maybe a company would say this is easier to produce and I can produce five of this of this items and so much cheaper whether if I produce this one item that maybe would help the environment it's just it's just it just not it doesn't add up um, and we ask for more and more and more and more and so I do believe however that the system is not gonna change unless our society changes and ask for the change and that's how everything happens a minority of people are always trying to create change and that change is usually created and I truly do believe that if more people are passionate about the environment and the ecosystem there's gonna be a point in which uh, businesses are gonna care about what they are producing and we're gonna be more mindful about everything that we put outside and we are gonna be us as a society, as the buyers, we're gonna be more understanding of maybe if I buy maybe a, a fork that is a wooden fork and wooden spoon and I can grab it like have it with me all the times, I don't need I don't need that plastic fork that's gonna damage the environment. Things like that. And so um, I do believe that a live zero waste it's amazing and I wish I could say I do it but I don't a hundred percent because it's very hard but I do think that I can do a little change because even though a lot of people make fun of me for doing no straw I still think that there's gonna be maybe some person one of my friends that that's gonna like resonate with them and be like oh okay maybe I shouldn't maybe next time I buy alcohol I shouldn't ask for a straw or things like that Sometimes I do feel a little lonely and I'm like always like no straw or let's recycle this or let's not use this Or I have my little container and people are just like oh you're so cute you're trying to save the world And yes I am trying to save the world but I'm also trying to set an example for others And for everyone even if people don't take me seriously sometimes I do believe that I can create a, a change Because I, me, I am doing so much less consumption and waste that I had in the past and I already know that because every time I have I use plastic, I write it, I put it in my notes, like in my phone, and I realize, wow, this is a lot for one person. And so when you're conscious of how much you're producing, you realize that, and you're like, okay, maybe I sh should do less, and maybe if I do this instead of this, I can create, um, I can create a change. And I think it, it is everyday type of like decisions. You don't realize until every day. And I always try to be like, okay, did today did I, I waste anything? I'm like, no, I don't think I did. 
and it's hard because sometimes the things that you cannot control but I truly okay I need to wrap up because this is already super long I do think that caring about the environment is the most important thing that us as humans can do because we need to connect with it we have to protect it and we need to understand that it's not for us is for every single living organism that lives here and we should be mindful of that we should love this amazing planet that we have it's so beautiful i can assure you that any memory that you feel happy maybe you were outside like you were in a cabin in the woods with your family or skiing or in the beach or surfing or whatever walking in a nice day like it's so beautiful and it screams at up every time we love you that we should not just take it for granted it's not our planet and we are destroying it and so just every single day you don't have to be zero waste you don't have to literally zero waste is that you don't use anything like you're just recycle and i know sometimes it's hard i try to be as zero waste as possible but it's not completely possible within my limitations right now but just try every day what can you do to make this planet a better planet and what can you do to make it better and not make it worse and so it could be the simplest thing it's instead of drinking from a plastic bottle that even if do maybe that plastic bottle is recyclable you can just drink and yes okay my camera died so i think it didn't die but it was like okay bitch uh, bye so uh okay bye <laughs>